In 1917, my father enlisted in the service. My father was hit by an explosive shell in the left leg below the knee. My father's wooden leg had a cavity in it where the stump of his lower uh, uh, knee fit in. Well, believe it or not, just a small pint size glass container of liquor, he would occasionally put in that cavity, put his stump sock and knee in there, and there was room for it, and carry it with him, take it when he needed, yeah. 1939, and I was born in 24. I was about 15 years old. And there on the newspaper, Sun, Pittsburgh Sun Telegraph, Britain declares war on Germany. And I said to myself, I will undoubtedly have to go along with a million other soldiers over to Europe and fight that World War II. Inducted in the spring of 43, Basic trainee, the summer of 43, at Fort McClellan, Alabama, an infantry replacement training center. When you say infantry, you say death. And uh, luckily, I was in the right place at the right time, and I was assigned to the Motor Pool area. Of course, the Ninth Air Force had uh, two engine bombers and fighter planes. They were of a smaller uh, uh, group, smaller runways, smaller takeoff areas, smaller planes, smaller missions. But that was our mission. And I, being in the motor pool, I didn't fly, I didn't put the bombs or the gas tanks on the plane. That was my uh, uh, career with the uh, Ninth Air Force. And we had our motor pool, we had our equipment. We didn't want for anything. 